guys welcome back to my channel it's me Charlotte or Charlotte and yeah welcome in today's video I'm going to do a first impressions review of the Fenty Beauty eavesdrops blurring skin tint that I'd have to, I thought I had to burp but I didn't um this eye look I've done on a separate video it's the video before this this is on the first impressions of the be perfect dream big manifest palette and I will link it up there so yeah hopefully I've pointed the right direction whenever I'm editing I'm like that's not the right direction Charlotte so it's up here or it'll be up here I've seen I have seen a couple of reviews I'm not gonna lie bit of a mix I thought it'd be a really nice sort of moisturizing I don't think it's meant to be a BB cream but of some sort of like moisturizing like like it says a skin tint for summer I'm really enjoying sort of that no makeup makeup look at the moment especially when I'm out and about something that I can just slap on my face and I'm looking for something that I can put on for when I go back to the office and it's looking to be around summertime that we'll be back in so I want to see check the longevity of it and things like that so yeah I thought I'd give it a go so let's look at the claims of this first so this retails for £25 it is how many mils 32 mils so decent amount I mean it is a I have to say it's a teeny tiny bottle but it's it'd be nice and cute for you know traveling um when we can travel again when and there is how many shades is there 25 flexible shade options so that is good from what I can gather is um I watched um Rihanna talk about this and one shade doesn't fit just one shade it can do a couple of skin tone shades so that's pretty interesting is that so it says a blurry skin tint that delivers smooth instantly blurred skin in just a few easy drops like that the blur is real Rihanna wanted to create an easy to apply flexible skin tint that instantly evens out your complexion and give a flattering blurred effect each drop with hydro blend complex is perfect for a no makeup makeup look or when you want to look effortlessly effortless put effortlessly Ooh, I'm not effortlessly at all put together so that's good so yeah so it's, it says it's instant blurring skin buildable light to medium long wear coverage smooth texture that layers well with primer and skincare applies well with fingers or brush right okay humidity sweat and transfer transfer resistant formula so it's got some big claims light to medium coverage okay good good so I'm just going to moisturize like I normally do just my usual Hydra Boost from Revolution, nothing interesting. I did have some on earlier but um, when I did my eyes I probably rubbed quite a bit of it off because of the fallout. My face is going to go beetroot red now because it always does whenever I uh, put any kind of moisturiser on or any skincare. The bait, I'm going to use a, I'm basically going to put this on as I would do normally, as I would put my normal foundation on. I'm not going to I'm not going to touch up though because honestly I don't have time to touch up at work really and I would prefer not to touch up so I'm going to see how well it performs without me touching up so that's what I'm doing so I'm just using my Bobbi Brown enriched face base because I want to be enriched today there we go I love the smell of this it reminds me of like a really posh spa like really posh spa products Bless you. That was Phoebe. Doing a little cute sneezums. I wish mine were like that. Mine are more explosive sneezes. Obviously within my hands. I don't just do it. Especially in the climate that we're in today, you know. We've got to keep germs wrapped up and uh, under control. And I'm a germ freak anyway, so that's always good. Uh, da -da -da. Right. Give it a good shake. I'm going to use a brush I think. I might use my fingers as well. I'm going to use this Revolution brush. I've never actually used this brush. Probably should just to see how it goes on. And I believe it's quite, it's quite liquidy. Well actually it's not as liquidy as I thought it would be. Okay, so I've got the shade 2. 
I've got shade 2. It looks, I mean, I don't know yet until I blend it out, actually. We'll see. impressions of this it's obviously evened out my skin tone quite a bit which is what I like but as you can see it's not covered this blemish these blemishes these up here and these up here um, which isn't a problem it's what I expected um, it looks very skin like it doesn't it looks like my skin but better which is what I wanted so I'm pleased with that I'm going to put a teeny tiny bit more on just to see if it builds because um, if it said light to medium I expect that if I put more on it's going to build up so let's put a bit more on put a second little layer on the colour looks okay looks good enough I could probably get away with one as well with it being so like such a light coverage I can imagine why she said it covers a couple of shade ranges so yeah I mean I really like it actually it's what I wanted it to be on first impression my skin's very it looks just like skin um, I don't know if I can. it's very skin like but you can still see obviously this blemish these round here I've got little bits of red spouts up here zoom me back out now and I hope you're not blurry because that would be disastrous um, yeah I like it it looks nice and with concealer over it as well just to conceal those little bits that I want brightened up a little bit and covered I think it'll do well in which case I'm gonna go wet my sponge and finish the rest of my base off just a second I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Balm this way multi sculpting concealer in the shade Snow he purchased it um, I've had the shade Swan for a while but it's run out and now I got the shade Snow because that's all I had in stock <laughs> um, using a new sponge this is from House of Boo I use their lashes quite a bit and I really enjoy them so I thought I'd give their sponge a try on first impressions now it's even though it's wet it still feels quite a hard sponge which generally isn't one that I do like but we'll see we'll see how it works so yeah I'm gonna finish my base I'll do it on com camera I'll do it on camera and yeah I'll speed through it like I always do don't want it to be here forever, do we? And I like to watch my YouTube whilst I'm sat here.
Christmas till you came around, came around. All this time, you're the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs. What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love, what is love? I don't know, no one ever showed me I've been on my own for too long. But if you hold me now, let me into your heart, maybe I can start to love again and tend to my scars. Can you show me how? Can you love me without you? And that's my full face done now. So, I have to say, on first impressions of the Fenty eavesdrops, I really like them. Really, really like them, actually. Um, it's perfect. I mean, I've done a little bit more of a heavy makeup application today, more to match my eyes. But um, for a makeup, no makeup day, I think this is going to be... If I don't throw it all the way over there, it's going to be fantastic. Um... I'm going to see obviously how it wears throughout the day, um, but yeah, I really like this. And excuse my roots, but you know, it is what it is, but yeah, first impressions, happy, everything applied over the top of it really nicely. I was having a bit of trouble on my nose, but I think that was more to do with my um, little blemish that I had there, it wasn't, the concealer was not adhering to it. Because I didn't have any problem anywhere else on my face. But yeah, it looks... I'll agree, It when you put it on, it is a very... I won't say it's, it, it's medium. I would say it's sheer to light. You can probably... With one layer, I'd say it's sheer. And then with an additional layer of light. You can definitely still see all your blemishes peeking through. But your skin looks like skin. And... It does even your skin toner and I will say it does give a blurring effect it just makes your skin look better it's your skin but better I mean, it really is um, I'm really hoping it wears really well because this will be my holy grail for work if it does so yeah I mean what time is it now so the time is oh my lord it's quarter past two so I probably put this on about I've been messing around but half past one I put this on because I've been messing around with cats and stuff so half past one I will do a check-in this afternoon and then I'll do one on the evening before I take it off and yeah, I will let you know how it goes so I'm filming this in natural light now so you can actually see what my skin looks like with my glasses on um, I don't like to keep contact lenses in for long I've taken my lashes off as well but yeah this is what it looks like in natural lighting and I have to say it looks even better in natural lighting so I'm really pleased with it but yeah I will check in in a couple of hours and yeah hello 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 so this is my last check in that I'm going to do wait a minute just let me open this door because she's going to keep Phoebe. So yeah, the time's quarter to ten. Oh. The time's quarter to nine, so I've had this on for seven hours. It seems to have lasted quite well, but as you can see, like the main issues I have is my glasses through the day. So you can see that it's worn away around here. Where um, my bottom of my glasses are touch is touching my face. Uh 
under my glasses it's rubbed away but it's not bad it's not bunched up like it normally does excuse my eyes i've had really bad watery eyes today um i've got a scar here at the moment from when i had that weird thing on my lip but so it's sunk into that a little bit but all in all i'm looking a little bit shiny but not as bad as i thought i'd look just please excuse the rest of my makeup because I'm looking shabby but yeah I feel like it's lasted pretty well to be honest with you um so yeah I'm really happy with it I mean I know I said that I wanted to wear it for work uh, but I'm thinking about the price tag as well 25 pounds it's quite expensive so I'm gonna have a look for something a little bit cheaper but for the now it's really good. I'm impressed and I can't wait to try it on like a summer's day. But yeah, as you can see, a little bit, it's a little bit transfer. It's, I won't say it's fully transfer proof because it's not, because if I put my fingers on there, I can see it come off. Um, so yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy. So what do you think? I think it looks alright. I think it does. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Um, if you like, my stuff please like and comment i'm sorry i'm really tired <laughs> please like and comment the video and yeah subscribe if you like my stuff consider it anyway but yeah thank you very much guys and i'll see you in the next one bye